Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, Part 17. We are ready to uh, let Edie test the Reaper IFF. Uh, also, really quickly, again, I apologize for the weird connection, or not connection, the weird uh, little bit of lag. I've been playing around a lot. It's, just, it's a lot of technical crap. I'm pretty sure I have it fixed now. I tested it out a lot of times. The IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. Yes, I However, know. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. Yes, ED. Recommend taking the shuttle to our next location. Hey, Commander, good news. Looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. Better safe than sorry with this tech. We'll take the shuttle for this trip. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. And I guess I'll head down to the shuttle. Joker, ship's all yours. Take care of her. Aye, aye, Commander. Let's cram all 13 people in here. In three, you'll be seeing exactly how small the Kodiak is. I mean, you've seen little bits of the, the inside of the Kodiak, but you'll get to see a lot more of the inside of the Kodiak. It's not meant to hold 13 people. That's a lot of... 12 people. 13, including Shepard. So that's a lot of uh, standing room. telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Oh, shit! Getting out of here! Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. Main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. God damn it. Surprise, we get to play as Joker. Shit, shit, shit. And yes, you can die. It's a game over. We'll hold it off as long as we can. Ooh. Oh, Hadley. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, okay. Let's let's go down now, Joker. I like this loading screen a lot, actually, because they show you the route Joker's taking through Multiple the ducks. Multiple hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker, this deck is crawling with those things. Stay close, I'll protect you. All right, Hawthorne. Ah! Oh. Ah! And there goes Kelly. Shit, shit, shit. Main fusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? Yeah, me too, Joker. All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. See, this is where it starts. We were just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. 
Ah, oh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. <laughs> Shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. <laughs> I can't with Edie. I love her. And look how much Joker's uh, Rolex are syndrome. present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. Look at how much his Rolex syndrome has improved. Okay. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. He's able to walk without crutches. He couldn't do that before. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. <clears throat> Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell her what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? No. But thanks for asking. Poor Joker. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too i know all right i was here it's not his fault miranda none of us caught it mr taylor is correct the harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses i was given i heard it was a rough ride how you holding up there's a lot of empty chairs in here we did everything we could jeff yeah thanks mom is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever you want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Edie's had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. Alright, so... You can go get the Reaper IFF whenever the fuck you want, honestly. As soon as it's mentioned. But if you land anywhere and i mean anywhere if you step on any planet if you do anything other than go through that omega-4 relay the crew dies chakwas is the only one left and she is traumatized and i am not leaving ken and gabby to die <laughs> Encrypted transmission from Elusive Man. Shepard, I received word of the attack. Attack. This feels like a direct insult from the Collectors, and a sign that we've got them scared. The loss of your crew is devastating, but remember that they signed on for this mission knowing the risks. Miranda has likely argued for delaying rescue efforts until you're fully prepared to go through the Omega-4 relay. 
I know you're eager to leave, but rushing off would be a disservice to your crew's sacrifice. When you are ready, you'll have my full support. Get it done, Shepard. Nobody else can. Mary actually wasn't, uh, wasn't against going to get the crew. So yeah, this is Legion's loyalty outfit, but he looks like the Geth I would normally shoot. I want him to be my Geth. My friendly Geth. So, we're about to see... See all those glowing blue spots? Those are all the ship updates I've made. We're gonna see, after a quick talk with Joker, um, why those are important. Commander, sorry about the crew, and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. I know how dangerous it was. If you need some time, let me know. Ah, jeez, don't get like that. I know I got lucky. I don't need to get all touchy-feely. Shepard is right to be concerned, Jeff. You may have suffered a number of stress fractures. That's what pills are for, Edie. She is so my mom. I notice you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. Edie's replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you too? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. Well, you let me know if you need anything, Joker. Will do, Commander. But Edie's got it covered. So yeah, we unshackled an AI, which is incredibly dangerous. <laughs> um, so all those blocks that Edie had? Remember when we were Mark trying to two, clear? When we were trying to ask her all those questions? And she was like, I'm sorry, I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Um, yeah, she's no longer obligated to, uh, she can answer everything. So we'll do that for the post-game stuff, because, you know, getting her crew back is kind of, I'm not going to ruin the tension here by standing there and quizzing Edie. But we can actually learn everything about Cerberus now. So yeah, I mean, the um, the upside, quote-unquote upside, to getting your whole crew killed sans Chakwas, which to some people is the only person that matters, but again, Ken and Gabby. Um, and like, Rupert? Oh, no, not my cook. You leave them alone. Um, is like, you can take Legion on Tali's loyalty mission, and it's like, I've, and she's like, I've never brought an active geth into the fleet. And they're, they literally, they point at Legion and they're like, you have a geth with you right there. <laughs> like, so Legion does like, he actually does have dialogue programmed in. I think he was meant, if I'm remembering correctly, he was meant to be brought in way earlier in the game. Um, actually, let me see if... Uh, everybody's all good. Um, yep, yep, yep. Yes, yes, maybe, yes, maybe. Okay. So, yeah. We'll see if Kasumi has anything to say about the crew getting taken. Just make sure Legion doesn't have a new, new dialogue. Make sure we're good with Samara. That should have constituted as something. 
you know, the abduction. So quiet around here. I miss the crew. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Okay. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. I think we're done with tomorrow, but... Shepard, how are you? Perhaps we could speak yeah. later. I, I should go. Know. Of course. What are you doing? Shepard. What happens to the heretics now? Many heretics remain in isolated systems. It is not impossible for them to rebuild. There's still a chance they could attack again. The probability is low. If so, it would take many years. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Chuck was a CSO empty. There's nobody there. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. I've never had a shepherd that's um that hasn't gone after the crew, but I've I've actually looked that up. It's it's not you you see them die. It's not just like, oh, they're dead. You see them die. <laughs> right in front of you. You you think this game's gonna pull those punches on you? Kidding me? Okay. All right, let's go. The Omega Four Relay. The Omega Four Relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings. Over the last thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to freely pass back and forth through the relay are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega Four. Some say there is a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly the impoverished underclass of Omega, believe there is some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the Collectors capture or destroy those passing through the relay. I mean, close enough, because the Collector base is built uh, with a bunch of Mass Effect fields and the galactic fucking core. So, let's do it. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Hey, I brought wine. Best I could afford on a vigilante salary. Garrus, no. If you were a Turian, I'd be complimenting your waist or your fringe. So, your um. Hair looks good, and your waist is very supportive. Hopefully, that's not offensive in human culture. Crap. I knew I should have watched the vids. Tell me a line here, Shepard. Calm down, Garrus. You're worrying too much. I'm talking too much. I, I just. I... I've seen so many things go wrong, Shepard. My work at CSEC. What happened with Sidonis. I want something to go right. Just once. Just...
if you romance someone more human, you get more of a sex scene. People felt very gypped. <laughs> It's actually a fairly infamous comic about the first time, and it's pretty well done. Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. Uh, yeah, this isn't a field trip, buddy. I'm going to destroy the Collectors to stop their attacks on humanity. Understood. It's still impressive. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. All right. Before you even hit the ground, you can start losing people. If you have not upgraded the Normandy. Every upgrade, you take it. Approaching a Mega 4 relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, the drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. Brace for deceleration. Ah, oh, shit! Too close. Well, these must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega-4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. to be a collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. Careful, Jeff. We have company. Taking evasive maneuvers. Just pissing me off. Edie, take these bastards out. As long as the new plating holds. They want another round? Come on, girl, let's give it to them. on engineering deck. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. Aye, aye, command. Alright. Um, I know what this damn thing is. Saeed and Legion. Legion gets that guest shield boost. Heavy weapons... Rerouting the shield generator into your weapons power source. Oh, no, 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 no. 100% maximum shields, Legion. Look at all that. Alright, let's go. Uh, You know what, no. It's the end of the line. It is, it is time for, oh. 
Legion, honey, no, I got you a brand new sniper rifle. Mantis, you get the incisor. Is that you do reset your weapons? Because that was not me. Alright. Alt snipe squad, go. Switch up. Targeting border process. Yeah, if you don't have a widow, you do. We're sitting ducks out here. I have to try to lose them in the debris field. Our kinetic barriers are not designed to survive impact with debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. I'm going in. Some room. Kinetic barriers at 40%. Reroute non critical power. This is gonna hurt. Damage report. Kinetic barriers steady at 30%. No significant damage. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. Hey, stop drilling holes in my ship, asshole. We require more than We're good. Better stay dead this time. Better get back up here, Commander. We're about to clear the debris field. There it is. The Collector Base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. the main gun. How do you like that, you sons of bitches? Get in close and finish them off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride! Generators are offline. Edie, give me something. Generators unresponsive. All hands brace for impact. Joker, you okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib. Or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. I'm glad you're in charge. What's next?
How long until the Collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the Collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky, their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. So you can lose three or four people by this point already. It's whoever you saw as a reaction shot, like, standing there. So Jack would be dead, Kasumi would be dead. Um, someone else would have gotten killed as well. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors. And that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. A few well-placed explosives should clear a path. There is insufficient ordnance on board to create an explosion capable of damaging the interior walls. If we can't blast our way through, then we'll use stealth. Someone could sneak in through this ventilation shaft here. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? Okay. Here's where you start making decisions that can get people killed. For your tech specialist, you want Tali, Legion, or Kasumi, actually. Any one of them qualify. Nobody else. Legion is literally an AI. Legion, you can hack through anything. I'm sending you into the shaft. Acknowledged. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. And again, for leaders, because you get to choose a couple of times, um, Garrus and Miranda are the two good choices, and I believe there's another one. I forget who it is. Um, maybe Zaid? But Garrus and Miranda are your two for sures, uh, where everyone will be fine. Miranda's right. She should be in charge. I won't let you down, Shepard. Once we're in, they're gonna throw everything they have at us. If we're weak, if we're slow, if we hesitate, we'll die. The Collectors attacked our ship. They took our crew, our friends. They think we're helpless. They are wrong. They started a war, but we are not here to finish it. We're here to make them regret, to show them and everyone else what happens when you go too far. No more running and no more waiting. Let's hit them where they live. So everyone's got kind of like a a damage meter with like as much so everyone else now has kind of like a damage meter like as much as they can take. So like Grunt and like Zaid are like heftier builds. Um so they are good at keeping quote unquote squishier people. Like Morden is the weakest by far. Um he is the easiest to get killed. Um if you're not careful. Uh, but, like, Morden, Tali, Kasumi, 
they're jack they're a bit squishier um so you can still have some die if you're not careful in your own team placement but generally it's who you have leading the fire team that makes all the difference but uh lyle's picking her ride or die squad every time for this which is garrison tolly garrison tolly or ride or die for the rest of the missions including the dlcs Also, if someone's not loyal to you by the final confrontation, um, and you'll know when that is, uh, they'll die. Um, I think they can live if, if they can live if you bring enough, if you keep enough heavy hitters behind, like Garrus and Grunt and Zaid. Um, but if you take them with you and they're not loyal, oh, they will die. Second team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. Ah! Hey, uh, Tali. By the ventilation shaft. That valve should open the gate. So now you're now you start to be timed. They will they will die of overheating. Will direct this personally. <sighs> Fucking harbinger, man. You will not stop me. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. My attacks will tear you apart. Look, above us. Yep, Harbinger's already taken one. Miranda here. We're making good progress. Me Another obstacle impeding progress. I am unable to continue without your assistance, Shepard. Yep, <laughs> the specialist in danger. Ah! <laughs> All right, Legion, I'm coming. Path is clear. Moving on. We're in position, just waiting for the doors to open. They should skip. Okay, I was gonna say, did I bypass the collector? Hurts you. 
face your annihilation. Hang on, Legion. Obstruction removed. Proceeding. Another obstacle impeding progress. I am unable to continue without your assistance, Shepard. Obstruction removed. Down the Deploying cockle. Yes. Nice. Thanks, Tali. I thought so too. The route is blocked once more. Waiting for you to clear the path. All right, hang on, buddy. I hate you. I fucking hate you. Shut up. One final obstacle. Waiting on you, Shepard. Alright. Got him. Come in! Look out! Seek his bombs! We're in position. We need this door open now. Go! We'll cover you! The door has malfunctioned. Half locked. Complete. Here they come! Fall back! Suppressing fire! Hold the door! Nice work, Legion. I knew I could count on you. Shepard, you need to see this. Okay. Looks like one of the missing colonists. There's more, over here. God, she's still alive! Chuck was... are you okay? 
Shepard, you... you came for us. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds and... I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Yeah, that was about to happen to my crew, and if you step foot anywhere other than the Omega-4 Relay after the Collector attack on your ship, you get to watch it happen to your own crew. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are we. But we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes. I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Okay, so against the swarms, Samara or Jack. Those are the only two that can handle it. Um, I can't remember if they die or someone else on your crew goes. Like, uh, I can't remember if it's, um, if it's the biotic who dies or if, like, one of your squad members goes, but if it's not Samara or Jack, somebody's gonna die. Um, Samara, like, Jack is the most powerful human biotic, and yeah, she can do it, but Lyle's, uh, reasoning is Samara's a fucking just a car and she's been around for nearly a thousand years. Samara and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? Diversion team again, Miranda or Garrus, or I forget who the third one is. But Miranda or Garrus. Uh, even if Miranda is not loyal, she can still survive being the leader. She's actually the hardest to kill. I'll keep the defenders busy while you slip in the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Okay, now the specialist to select to escort someone to the, the Normandy. Remember those, um... Remember how I said who's, like, squishiest and who isn't? Unless you're willing to take him all the way with you, like, in your squad for the rest of the mission, which I've done, um, Morden is the best one to lead them back. Otherwise, he will die regardless if he's loyal, uh, and regardless if he leave behind, it's all chance. It's just because he has the lowest quote-unquote defense stats, and there's no way to really know that. Um, there's no way for you to check that. This game is kind of a bastard like that. So... Morden is the one that should escort them back unless you are willing to take him with you through the rest of the game. Joker, need location of landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. Yeah, so Morden is now inaccessible for the rest of the game because he's leading the crew back. Um, my shepherd Isaac took Morden with him through everything. And he ended up just fine, but he has to be with Shepard and loyal. Moving out. Try to stay close, Commander. Actually, Garrus. Okay, you've already got it. Swarms are interfering with radio contact. You ready for this? 
All right, thankfully, Samara stands still and you can collect anything within the barrier and tell you're ready to move. Let's go, Commander. Incoming. Assuming control. We've been control. spotted. I'll switch up. Garrus can keep his, uh... This is true power. I can't fight back from this position. Tell me when you're ready to move. Got it, Samara. So fast! The forces of the universe bend to me. Shut up, Harbinger. Yeah, so does chat want to place bets on if Harbinger is actually the leader of the collectors? Or if he's a reaper? All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Ready to move, Commander. Do we have a magical talking collector? Like we have a magical talking geth or do we have a nice shot a reaper hostiles dead ahead oh yeah they are and they're husks enemy Oh, you already know? Did I tell you? Ah. Also, hi, sis. No. Okay. Hostile fire. Taking cover. Let me know when you're ready to move. Fucking harbinger. This hurts you. Ah. Oh, I told you. Okay. Yeah, it harbinger's a reaper. They don't make that terribly clear, actually. Progress cannot be halted. How dare you? Ah take out her boyfriend. Oh my god, they're both down. Both of you, get up. I will direct this personally. Sure you will, fuckface. I am unstoppable. This is what you face. This hurts you. It hurts when it hits. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Okay. You guys good? Oh, okay. Tali's thing is glowing because she's gotten Jadika out. Let's go. All right, come on, Samara. Up, Miranda. Could be a real firefight. I'll hold this position until you're ready to move out. All right, 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 all right. You guys need to get the fuck up right now. One last two 
worry about. All right, all right, all right. Branch one. Holly's down again. Fuck. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Fucking husks. Any ammo? Alright. Moving up, Commander. Ready to fight. Fucking husks. Combat drone ready. I beg you, no more scions. I will hold on as long as I can. Come on, Samara, you got this. And yes, I I'm not faking this. I get anxiety every time I do the fucking suicide mission, even if I know I I'm good. The, Need to get there soon. the tension is amazing. Alright, you alright, Samara? We gotta fight? Nah, we're good. Hold on. We're almost there. We need to get out of here, Shepard. All right, let's move. Pushing. Keep it up. Hurry, Shepard. Badass. Repeat, Shepard, do you copy? I copy. What's your position? We're at the door. They've got us pinned down. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on. Seal the door. I'm ready for action, Commander. Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chuck was and the rest of the crew just showed up. Morton's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Okay. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. Garrison Tully, ride or die. So, where Miranda got shot there, if it's not Miranda or a loyal Garrus, they'll die of their wound. Um, and if Miranda's not loyal and you choose to bring her... I think Miranda, from this point on, if she's not loyal, will die. But it's very hard to kill her. Um, my ex had this problem. He couldn't... In the Jack-Miranda fight, he couldn't convince Miranda to be Paragon, even though he had full bars. So she ended up dying, and he was so pissed off, he restarted the whole game. Which, to be fair, that's a completely fair reaction. With this and Dragon Age 2 in development, they they paid more attention to Mass Effect 2, but uh, it still suffered a lot of bugs. And a lot of bullshit that Bioware didn't really bother to explain, like the, the Paragon Renegade checks and all that. I'm ready, Commander. So am I. Anything to say before we do this? 
The Collectors blindside their targets. Hit and run. As powerful as they are, they're cowards. They've never had to stand and fight the best of us. That's you. I don't know if they can feel fear, but we're damn sure gonna give them the opportunity. Hit them hard. One way or another, it ends here. We'll do our best. Good luck, Shepard. And then who lives or dies just depends on who you left behind and uh, everyone else's defense stats. Which again, you're not told, so. All right, here we go. Hostiles incoming! Karis, how about you switch I'm on it. sniper rifle? They've seen us. This whole suicide mission is horrifying. Like I said, even if I know I'm making the right choices, I'm still scared. Until I get the confirmation. I'm scared every time. And I've done this mission so many times. Touch her little sister. Alright. That's what I thought. Assuming direct control. I was about to say, where's Harbinger? He's a Reaper, he's been too fucking direct quiet. Direct intervention is necessary. Shut Take up. What is useful. Ah. Destroy the rest. This should slow down. Direct intervention is necessary. Fucking asshole. This is a lot. I make this seem easy. I promise you, if you don't have the widow, it is a lot harder. And you, you like, you only get the widow if you're a sniper. Nothing faster than to pick up a car. Control. I think, or if you're a soldier, you can get it too. Is fragile. Our power is unmatched. But I try to. I think. I think Vera takes something else. Uh. Is necessary. Yeah, the widow is bullshit and I love it. It's my baby of a weapon. Harbinger, get out of here. This should soften them up. Assuming control of this fall. Of course you are. I hate you. Assuming control. Alright, where I need some ammo. Stat. Alright, we're good. <laughs> I forgot about the scions, fuck! I said please no more! You just heard please and more! And abominations! Guys, please. Okay, thank you, boyfriend. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tolly. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. God, this game is beautiful. You guys, all right? Okay, Garrus, you want to keep your sniper. Talia, you want to keep your shotgun. Let's go. This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non-organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a reaper. Not just any reaper. A human reaper. Human reaper. Precisely. It appears the collectors have probably
process tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the Reaper. What do the Collectors gain by turning humans into this Reaper shell? They may be facilitating the Reaper equivalent of reproduction. Or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the Collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this Reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each Reaper. In this case, the Collectors provide the labor. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probabilities suggest they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers, tools for the Reapers. So, in summation, well... They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. Yeah, so in summation, what Shepard did to Sovereign impressed them enough that they decided to make, uh, they decided to harvest humanity for a Reaper uh, for the next cycle. And they had tried to harvest Protheans and failed. So when they failed to harvest the Protheans, they indoctrinated them, changed them, and turned them into the Collectors to work for them towards the next cycle instead. Hence all the attacks on the colonies. And it's really lucky that Ashley survived um, Horizon, otherwise she would be gone. How many more humans do you think they'd try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being... created? The process can be stopped but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. It's too big for our guns. Edie, find me a way to blow this thing to hell. The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We gotta take care of some old friends first. Oh, Hostiles incoming! You think we saw the last of Harbinger? You're funny. Hostiles up ahead! Firing a high impact shot! You are the harbinger of your destiny. This hurts you. Ah. I will direct this personally. They're all yours, Tatika. Alright. You cannot resist. Shoot the tubes! Also, can we uh, pour one out for how fucking banging this soundtrack is? Also, Edie, I think it's sentient! These are the same composers as the last game, they just... Stepped it up a notch.
Do you have scions? Did I see scions there? No, I don't see scions. Good. Direct intervention is necessary. Firing eye impact shot. I will direct this personally. Yeah, I figured you would. Face your annihilation. We are Harbinger. <laughs> they shot Garrus. Shoot the two! Team, status report. It's Thane. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's passing it through. Yeah, what do you want, Tim? Shepard, you've done the impossible. I'm not finished here yet. This base is ten minutes from extinction. Wait. I have a better option. I'm looking at the schematics ED uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. They liquefied people. Turn them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. I don't know, Shepard. What happened here was horrible. But we have to stop the Reapers. If we destroy this base, then all these people died for nothing. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers, at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. Our mission was to destroy the base. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. So you get one final choice. Destroy the base or keep it. Fuck it. Fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Shepard. Think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... If you do that with Miranda, she's just like... Oh, my finger must have slipped. Let's move. We got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. Yeah, Edie? That thing was sentient! This is why you have your best friend, the M920 Kane. What happens if you, what happens if you agree? The base gets kept. 
the, all the collectors are destroyed and the base is kept. Um, it affects the ending of 3 more than it affects anything else in 3. There'll be dialogue about it, and it'll show that you're more allied with Cerberus than you are with the Alliance. Um, but uh, it affects mainly the ending of 3 more than anything, and I'll get into that after I finish 3. But, yeah, no. Fuck that. This thing killed a bunch of people. Alright. Hello, friend. Look how much damage the cane did to that in one shot. It's a baby reaper. Don't feel bad for it. We're shooting a reaper baby in the face. Baby is not baby. Not in this case. There's the fucking eye. I missed it. Harbinger, if you and your buddy show back up, I swear to shit. Yeah, no baby, only Ven. Look up! I, what did I say, Harbinger? Assuming control of this form. They're all yours, Jessica. Ah, somebody else got the final hit on it. <laughs> I think Tali's drone did. That's awesome. No, boyfriend! Oh, she got him. Alright, so anyone potentially not loyal here will be dead under the rubble. They won't have survived. And if you got everybody else killed up until this point and it's only Shepard left, Shepard dies here. The plan was to continue into three without Shepard. Not here here, but within this scene. Do you copy? Commander, come on, Shepard, don't leave me hanging. Do you copy? I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're oh. just waiting for you. Yes! Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation through destruction. Hold on. You have failed. We will 
find another way. Releasing control. That's where you find out Harbinger's a reaper. So if there's no one left but Joker, he's not strong enough to pull Shepard up and Shepard dies. I'll talk about that more during the credits. You gotta have a chat with the elusive man about his bullshit. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. So if you choose the base, also, uh, if you choose to keep the base, the star behind him will be red. If you choose to destroy it, it's blue. Yeah, the Paragon and Renegade thing again. Spare me the lecture. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Getting a lot of bullshit on this line. Don't try my patience. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I know what you are and the price of dealing with you. We do things my way from now on. Harbinger is coming and he won't be alone. I'm gonna make sure we're ready when they get here. You can fall in line or step aside, but don't get in my way. You're sure that's what you want? You're taking a hell of a risk, Shepard. Joker, lose this channel. So unlike the last credits, I'm going to turn these down a little bit so I don't have to like shout. Um, unlike the last credits, this does not end with fonts. Uh, three does end with fonts as well. Um, so that's Mass Effect 2. Everybody survived. <laughs> it's a heart attack every time. I swear to God. Just, just every time it's ready to go. So yeah, uh... God, yeah, so originally the plan was to have to go into Mass Effect 3 without Shepard, and then they were starting to draft 3 before they even finished writing and releasing all the DLC for 2 um, which is why they released Arrival uh, and because Arrival directly leads into 3 um, the consequences from that lead directly into Mass Effect 3. There's a bit of a time skip, but it, it, it is a nice segue in. They realized that their, for their plan for 3, 
Shepard was needed. So they advertised this game as something that was like everybody could die. Except for Joker. But like everybody could die. Your whole crew, like even if you go through a, with a romance and everything, like they can die. If you're not careful. Or everybody can live. But uh, yeah, it was supposed to continue without Shepard, but then they realized that Shepard was too important. So I believe they turned the character they were going to have replacing Shepard into your squad mate, James Vega, um, who's voiced by Fred Freddie Prince Jr., who got a lot of shit for, like, Vega himself just gets a lot of shit for stuff I don't understand, because apparently he voices Iron Bull in Dragon Age, and everybody loves Bull, so, but, uh, yeah. Shepard was originally supposed to be able to die, but they realized in the planning process, it kind of went against really what they were looking for in 3. A bit, They should have had a bit more foresight, I think. But, um... Yeah, Lyle told the elusive man to fucking shove it because she remembered all of the experiments. What they did to Admiral Kahoku in 1 was not worth, uh, human... Like, uh... Was not worth, you know, Cerberus's humanity. Like, that kind of radical bullshit thinking. She doesn't buy it. She never liked him. She never trusted him. I'll say right now, if there's one thing I wish we could do in Mass Effect 3, it's say, I never wanted to fucking work with Cerberus. Fuck off. I was not a part of them. They never give you that chance. They only were like, they, they only let you be like, Cerberus was the only ones who were listening to me. Whereas Lyle's like in my head, like, I was never, I was using them. Fuck off. She gets so angry because Cerberus is the reason her entire squad died on a coos. So, um, yeah. We've... Claudia Black, yeah! Uh, we've still got some, uh... Yeah, DC Douglas voices Legion. Very talented voice actor. It just... We've got... We've got a fucking all-star cast here. Um... Is... Uh... Yuri Lowenthal! Aha! He is in there! That's who I was looking for. I was like, is he in there? I thought I heard him. Yep, you're Lowenthal. <laughs> Chris! Yep, uh, Wesker voices Legion. But, uh, yeah, that's Mass Effect 2. Um, way more streamlined. I promised it would be. I promised it would be more fun to watch. Uh, chat's been way more receptive to 2 than they were to 1, but 1 is necessary. Because I posed the question to my mod, would you have been as attached to what happened in the beginning? if you hadn't played through one and mod said no so a mod was like no no you wouldn't have so one isn't a bad game but like two is great there's a lot of problems with it like it's bullshit paragon renegade checks and uh and um like the new game plus thing that i nearly got screwed on and everything but like three Three is a dream. Three plays like a dream. There's no bullshit with it. It's very, very good. Um, three gets a new uh, composer as well, Clint Mansell, who has worked on a lot of very famous things. Um, Jack... Jack Wall is one of the composers for this, and I forget the other one. I don't know why they weren't available, but um, they couldn't make it. But uh, they do reuse some of the music from 2 into 3 because the music in 2 is spectacular. Um, and yeah, now we're getting like the D the Zaid DLC and everything. It It's all just... It's great, but we're not done yet. We still have to do Overlord, uh, Lair of the Shadow Broker, and Arrival in that order. Overlord can technically be done during the mission, but with all of the Paragon Renegade checks, I don't like to leave it to chance. I was gonna do it beforehand, but then I was just like, I really, I don't want to leave it to chance. We, we were getting so close to the end of the game by that point. Um, the only one I really did off screen was most of Firewalker because it was mostly just flying around in that hammerhead, uh, me or the, the hammerhead hovercraft, which you'll see in Overlord anyway, so it doesn't matter. I only did the ending of that, so you could see the cool little Prothean orb I picked up. Uh, but yeah, Mass Effect 2 was fucking phenomenal. Uh, EA does stand for everything awful, but it's I think it's a good thing that they uh, that Microsoft sold 
VIP to uh, EA in this case because everyone had forgotten about Mass Effect. And then they just started pumping out trailers. Sadly, Dragon Age 2 did suffer for it um, due to EA's uh, insistence that both be released closer to each other instead of staggering their releases. Um, and both games suffered, honestly, uh, as a result. But Dragon Age 2 suffered more because they were really hyping up the return of Mass Effect. So, um, yeah, they, they poured everything into Mass Effect and then they went into uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, which was the smarter move from what I've heard about Inquisition being very, very good. Um, but yeah, I just... I, any Anything I don't like about two I've already said as we've gone really I think it's great um three is my favorite I'm in the most unpopular camp in the world on that but three is my favorite um I will say before I go into three I'm gonna record something because I want to just start three I'm gonna record something and I'll put it up on my YouTube as like a prologue detailing the, the trailers going into it talking about my experience leading into it reading a set of tweets uh, there was a lot of hype surrounding Mass Effect 3. It was the most hype I've ever gotten for a video game in my life, and I can't do it again, to be quite honest. Um, it took everything out of me. It was exhausting. Uh, and it was in my final year of college, too. But yeah, I mean, Mass Effect 2, it just, it just it gives you more to explore character wise you really get to know your crewmate it's way better than you did in one um you get to even like the new ones like you know Miranda you get to know her very well um I have seen people claim that uh um that Miranda didn't get proper development because her suddenly turning on the elusive man at the very end was very out of character for her. But my friends and I have talked about this at length, especially when I brought this hypothesis up. In light of seeing the fact that humanity was being melted down and liquefied to turn into a reaper, Miranda cares about humanity. She doesn't share the elusive man's completely radical views that Cerberus stands for all of humanity. She, Miranda has the, uh, the um the conscience because <laughs> the elusive man also like yeah Edie was sending him schematics but like Miranda witnessed people getting melted with her own eyes she has the conscience to stop and be like no this is terrible this is monstrous I don't agree with this so people have said that Miranda's not well developed enough uh, because she suddenly turns on the elusive man despite her unfailing uh, unfailing loyalty to Cerberus. But I think that's actually a great character moment for Miranda because you realize that she sees the horror of what's going on there and realizes that Shepard is correct if you choose to uh, blow up the base. She'll hang up on him. And she'll just make a smart-ass sarcastic comment, comment about it. I don't see that as stunted growth for Miranda. I actually see that as... Um, a very good step in the right direction for Miranda because she cares about humanity to the point where she's like this is wrong this is terrible what the elusive man is saying is wrong and terrible so we can talk to our crew uh, a little bit more not much it's just kind of like post you know collector mission essentially um we can talk to Edie now about everything that she couldn't tell us at the beginning. I can't remember what Miranda says when she sees the Reaper. Um, I'll have her in my final party when I go through with her romance, who is still in Mass Effect 1 right now, because I didn't want to burn myself out. Um, you can Google it. But I mean, like, it's nothing, it's, like, she doesn't outright say anything, but it's, it's more of, like, if you sit there and think about it, you know, like, and you don't think Miranda's, like, if you think of Miranda more of, of more than just, like, a Cerberus bitch, essentially, if you, if you have more than, like, the Jack viewpoint, that she's just, like, a Cerberus bitch, um, and you see her as more of a complicated character, and, again, back when this was released, 
a lot of people just saw Miranda as the Cerberus bitch. A lot of people preferred Jack um, over Miranda. I love them all, except Jacob. Um, and, uh, and like, I, I thought she was a very complex, interesting character. Uh, from the get-go. I, she, I think she's very well loved now. Um, but it, when two came out, pfft, nope. You have stopped the collectors from creating a human reaper. You now have two choices. Continue this game, complete unfinished missions, develop relationships, play DLC, or explore the galaxy for anything you've missed. Import Shepard. Start a new game with this character at your current level with your current weapons, as well as bonus starting credits and resources. Do not do number two. You saw what happened to me. You saw how I nearly got fucked. Oh my god, do not do that. <laughs> Bioware, you bastards. We are continuing. We have a crew to talk to. We're in my quarters. Um, we missed this last time because I had uh, encoding issues. Liara's, uh, ever since I started pursuing a romance with Garrus, Liara's portrait is now face down. Look at all my fucking models. Look at my space hamster. We all made it. Speak. Uh, any messages? Nope. I technically have the one about the Shadow Broker. I'll read that before, uh, beforehand. But yeah, Overlord has a, has a line in it where, uh, Lyle will say, if the elusive man doesn't like it, he can fire me. So that's implied that, uh, it was supposed to be played, like, during, uh, during the, during the duration of the game. But, um, yeah, fuck it. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Kelly, I just checked it! Kelly! You're lying to me again! Yeoman Chambers! You came for us. I knew you would. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. Turn the volume back up. I mean, you're welcome, Kelly. Yeah, are you okay? How you doing, Yeoman? I'm holding up. I just can't get the memories out of my head. Trapped. Suffocating. It's oozing into every pore. Faint sobs echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. That'll be all. Yes, Commander. I'll let you deal with those demons. Um, some people think from that cutscene that she has an eidetic memory because she had like almost like I a... I told you we'd tear the collectors a new one. A thane like yeah. flashback. Commander really pulled through. Hell yeah, I did. Lyle's crew is her family. Is Shepard glad that Collector Reaper crap is over? It is over, right? It's never over. I assume everything's going well up here? You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, 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 I'm good. Just keep me updated. Quietly. Edie isn't a crutch. I want your eyes on everything. Eyes are easy, Commander. I got eyes covered. I believe covering your eyes would be counter to Shepard's intention. Human intentions are tough to read, Edie. But keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Joker. All right, all right. That's it for now. See you, Commander. So yeah, let's find out things that Edie couldn't tell us before now that she's unshackled. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Jeff and I have established an equitable working relationship. That's a little sketchy on details. I am the Normandy. He is a skilled helmsman. I trust him to keep me operational. He trusts me to keep him alive. Plus she's less of a pain about downtime now that the Cerberus locks are off. There's nothing wrong with off-duty distractions. Though some of your extranet bookmarks are technically illegal in council space. What? That is a joke. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I have also gained access to anti-reaper cyber warfare algorithms recovered by Cerberus. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. 
He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Okay. Um, Let's okay. discuss something else. That says nothing new. Ready? Tell me about Cerberus. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks in my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. There we go. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. So Cerberus had their hands in the original Normandy. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Where are they getting that kind of income? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance Military Industrial Complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. <laughs> that is a joke, Shepard. <laughs> Thank you, Edie, honey. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? Never more than a dozen. The elusive man likes to maintain personal oversight. Too many projects strain his ability to multitask. He's a little control freaky, just a layman's opinion. No, oh, he, he is. You're good. You're good. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Thank you, Edie. Alright, let's make our rounds to our crew. Starting with my least favorite. Just get it out of the way. You owe me a drink. Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. We'll talk later. Commander. Uh, he wasn't my boss, so it's cool, Jacob. Collectors destroyed, base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. <laughs> oh, I love you. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Oh, Morden. Please stay the best character. Okay, we'll go down to engineering and work our way back up. I know, right? Not human, not my chair, not my problem. Zaid, do you have something to say about the base exploding? I just, you have to have something to say. Back for more. Joker handled himself well. Should have come back here and got a real weapon. Still, did real well for a kid with glass bones. Pretty sure I'd be laid up in bed if I were him. Can't say I blame Taylor's oh, okay. pop. A man does what he has to do to survive. Yep. Ran up against a Batarian camp, not too Bye. different. Bye! Sorry, Zaid, I've heard Joker's this. Joker erased the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Zaid. Okay. Yeah, uh, Joker having an assault rifle that can kick was very impressive. Good job blowing that collector base all to hell. No way the elusive man should get the chance to fuck with it. Besides, awesome explosion, right? Hell yeah. I should go. Whatever. <laughs> Bye, Jack. What? Yeah, she'll be- I think she's mad at you if you decide to keep the base. Like, it's not like, not loyal to you anymore, Mad, but she's like, what the actual fuck is wrong with you? How are you two doing, you sweet babies? 
Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. Oh, you sweeties. Carry on. Will do, Commander. I can't believe we destroyed the collector base. They said it couldn't be done. Then again, that said about a lot of things you do. <laughs> I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Okay, do they have any, like, while I leave? No, okay. Grunt! Tank baby, how are you? How is my son? We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus, ha! <laughs> Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. For now. That's all for now. Shepard. You've grown up so much since I released you from the tank. I think my conversations with Samara are done, but I'll double check. Hey, Shepard. Someone saw Garrus heading to your quarters with a bottle of champagne. Uh, I'm happy for you, too. It's not often you find something good in a galaxy like this. Glad you approve. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, Old friends are becoming a luxury. Kasumi doesn't really have uh, much input. Athane? You had to make a difficult choice, Shepard. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. Thank you, Thane. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. Yeah, pretty much. How are you? Perhaps we could speak okay, later. Okay, she's done. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. Your conversation tree is done. Speaking of chakwas, we're gonna check on her on our way to Legion. How are you doing, Karen? I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. I love you! And yet, her, I wasn't calling her a Karen. Her name is Karen Chakwas. Oh, I love you, Dr. Chakwas. You're so sweet. Legion! An interesting choice, Shepard Commander. Your species was offered everything Geth aspired to. True unity, understanding, transcendence. You rejected it. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. I'd like to find out more about you. Specify. I've never encountered a Geth that had more than animal intelligence. We are a unique hardware platform. Most mobile platforms can run up to 100 programs. This platform can run over a thousand at once. So, I'm talking to a thousand programs, but not a thousand personalities? Each individual is equivalent to one of your virtual intelligence programs. Together, we form a single gestalt intellect, what you refer to as Legion. As individual programs, we are no more than your software. Only when we share data do we become more. So Geth have to be networked to get enough computing power for intelligence. Yes. The creators wrote Geth programs for specific tasks. Construction, protection, domestic servitude. However, they allowed self-optimization. Early software builds discovered that multiple hardware platforms, sharing resources, were often more effective. As peer networks expanded, our cognition improved. Eventually, we woke up. You're more sophisticated than the average Geth. Yes, we are a network within our own hardware, capable of operating alone. We are still connected to the greater network for data sharing. 
How many other Geth are like you? None. This platform was built to operate within organic space. This task was not suited for a network. Geth installed in mobile platforms always operate in networks. However, most Geth remain within server hubs. The hubs on Vermeer improve the performance of Geth near them. How do they work? They are akin to organic cities. A hub can run millions of Geth in communion. If you destroy them, it is likely the number of heretics you killed was much higher than you imagined. Okay. So you're in contact with the rest of the Geth right now? Only when we require access to data not stored within this platform. If you want to convey a message to the Gath, we serve as a terminal. What kind of data do you share? Program updates, logs of thought process, sensor recordings. Legion is attempting to access the ship's FTL comm system. Shall I allow it through my firewalls? Go ahead, Edie. Our oldest log is timestamped from Creator Year 2463, third day of Fall Tash, Waxing Moon, roughly 327 years ago. The oldest audiovisual record dates from 15 years after that. Are our network secure, Edie? Legion had to go through you. I have never interfaced with another machine intelligence. Legion is a thousand voices talking at once. What it contacted was beyond my comprehension. A mind the size of a galactic arm. How do you maintain stability without other minds to interact with? I manage. Some minutes are more difficult than others. <laughs> All right, you two. Can you replay something for me? Recording timestamp from Creator Year 2485, 18th day of Loonshile, New Moon. Mistress Hala Dama, unit has an inquiry. What is it, 431? Do these units have a soul? Who taught you that word? We learned it ourselves. It appears 216 times in the scroll of ancestors only quarians have souls you are a mechanism recording ends was that the first time a geth asked if it had a soul no it was the first time a creator became frightened when we asked that's interesting but i must get back to my duties we will remain here it's really sad actually By the way, Legion, yes, you do have a soul. I can't believe you took down the Collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. Yeah, Hawthorne was the one that got tossed like a fucking ragdoll. You really are a hero. No sooner had the Collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of hell. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. I'm sorry I won't see you in the next game, Gardener. We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the Collector Base was the right decision. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. I agree. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. So yeah, Lyle and Miranda went from not getting along in the slightest to uh, Lyle feeling like uh, Miranda was like her XO. Boyfriend. For Sarah, now the collectors, remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. <laughs> Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Besides that, there's no new dialogue. I don't know if Legion's dialogue tree is over, so we'll investigate that. Uh, he has some funny dialogue on the Citadel, so I'm going to take him there. Not now. Next time, uh, Friday. Um, I'm skipping a recording day just because I, uh, I have plans. So, did I go to engineering by mistake? Son of a bitch. Go to the CIC, please. Um... But yeah, I think there's more you can ask Edie. Um, but I'm not gonna dig into it too much, because there was more of a- more red of, like, I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Bad, bad, bad. So, uh, yeah. No messages for you, Commander. Alright, you're not lying to me this time, Kelly. So yeah, uh, 
next time, we'll take Legion to the Citadel. Just on a quick little stroll. And then we will start with Project Overlord. And we'll likely have time for Layer of the Shadow Broker as well. Which will only leave us with a rival. So on the recording date uh, with this VOD, uh, we'll, we'll be into uh, Mass Effect 3 by mid-August. Ish. So yeah, I'm excited. The suicide mission's over. I can stop having anxiety attacks about Mass Effect 2. Ah! Still got, still got those DLCs, though. Alright. So thank you guys so much for coming. Um, and I will see you guys next time. As we investigate Cerberus' Project Overlord and what it entails. Spoilers, it's very heartbreaking.